Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Makes Play City Skylines. So, we just kind of finished off zoning the last of the easily accessible land on our current uh, side of the river, anyway. And now we're going to need to bring water to it. Because it currently doesn't have any. Um... So, that looks pretty good, and that looks pretty good. It's interesting that those are a different color. But people are definitely using the tunnel. Yeah, we'll be interested to see how traffic flows through this area now. Uh, all right. We got lots of industrial and commercial demand now. So Go ahead and finish off this uh, oil district, at least this part of it. What are you complaining about? Oh, you burned down. Hopefully we don't have too many of those. And you... You need more educated workers. Um, hmm, where should we put more commercial? Almost totally been pumped out of all of this. In fact, it has all been pumped out. Hmm, I'm very tempted to switch this back to uh, 
back to farming now that all of the oil is gone. Um, let's go ahead and drop some commercial. Even make it high density commercial. And that's because that's not. Uh, oops. That's not fertile land. We have a little you know, commercial block in the middle of our industry here. Um, well, I will say this for the oil industry. It is it does demand educated workers, which we now have. So it does seem a little bit of a waste to do more farmland, which doesn't require educated workers at all. Uh, wow, we're making tons of money. Maybe we should uh, maybe we should go ahead and build the university and switch over to offices. Is this empty? This is empty. All right, let's get rid of that. Um, we probably have enough to afford a university now. Yeah. Um. All right, let's try it. So, build the university. How big is it? It's pretty big. Um, it's a pretty good spot for it, actually. There's a, there's a fair amount of empty space in there. And it shouldn't be too difficult to get to. Relatively central. All right. Let's build it here. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do. zone some office space. And I'm going to get rid of all of this oil industry and we are going to go offices instead. We'll still have some pollution from the um, from the incinerators. How is that doing, by the way? Um, I might want to build another one, but we still have a fair amount of leftover from pollution from all the oil pumping.
But that should go away eventually. And in the meantime... Offices. We can probably just do offices for pretty much the rest of the game, I think. density commercial over there. That's one thing I have not built. All right, the offices are filling in. Tax income is going up. Pollution is going down. Uh, oh, I have one little tiny area here that needs to be covered by that zone. If I bulldoze it, it should come back as a farm building, I think. Pollution's already going down, except around these incinerators. Wish I had a better spot to put them. Um, maybe on the other side of the railroad tracks? So offices, do they... Do they generate goods? Let's look at our city connections overlay here. Outside connection, imports. Those are commercial buildings. The offices seem to be like goods independent, looks like. Um, you know what I think we could use is a bigger fire station. So it's three times as much upkeep, but wow, like four or five times as many fire engines. Yeah, so I think that's the police station. I think I'm going to get rid of the small fire station and instead. 
build a large one. thing I could build is a jail although it's sketchy as to whether I can actually afford it we have a building burned down large fire station covers a whole lot more ground too. Then I cut down on fires significantly. Okay. The pollution is from the oil industry is mostly gone. Hmm. I wish there was somewhere I could move those incinerators where they wouldn't be near anything that I care about, but Commercial. This commercial. This offices. It needs to be covered by more services. Hmm. Like what, I wonder? Police, perhaps? Don't really want to. Well. does not seem to be too much of an issue. Um, uh, all right, demand's coming up again. So, I need to think about expanding over here. Now that I've got the dam built, it should be fairly safe. Did this final finally settle on a number? 352. 336. 352. 336. Alright, it looks like it's settled on uh, 336 to 352. So basically 336, because if it, I can't count on it having that, uh, the higher number. So, but anyway, now that I've got the dam built, I can build these highway bridges over here. I can also think about building some train stations, but I don't think I really need them yet. 
Traffic seems to be flowing okay. Um, so I might need them eventually, but I don't think I really need them quite yet. So, yeah, I think that's the next step is to build these highway bridges over this river here. And kind of develop this land up here. Gonna have like another commercial office district up here and residential kind of down here. You know, this lake might be a cool spot to turn into a tourist area. Although the sides are pretty steep, there's not a lot of building area on them. And it would almost be worth building a dam just to increase the just to increase the water level in this lake. Um to make it flatter. Hmm. I'm gonna increase the lake level to like here. Yeah. I think it would make too much of a difference. All right, well. Um, highway. Soundproofing. Snap to grid is on. Straight line. That definitely looks the coolest. Um, sure, let's do that. the direction on that. Yeah, and that looks pretty cool. The bridges are going a little bit uphill. But that's okay. do offices for our industry we might be kind of done with farmland we have residential and industrial demand at the moment um, so we could extend this out a little bit more uh, we have a lot of industrial demand all right let's do that so I just want regular one-way streets for this. Uh, actually, makes the most sense I think to do this. Which direction is that going?
Uh, okay, that's coming up this way. So. So. Back up. Down, okay. And. Me across like that. Should we go up one more? Kind of makes sense to do that. It's going the right way. That is going the right way, but that is not. I can connect into this. Does it have stoplights? It does have stoplights. Um, I Alright, we'll just have to go all the way around. Alright, so that grid works. And then we will do some offices. That, and we'll put some high density commercial in there. Like that. Oh, and you're going to want some water. Speaking of water, any other pumping station yet? Nope. Still good. Still good on power. What about garbage? Right. I'd like to find a better place for these landfills. Um, or for these incineration plants, rather. want to fill that in. Maybe I could stick them like down here. Um, 
probably not going to want to do too much with this area right here. I don't know. I probably will buy... Yeah, I probably will wind up buying this one. Possibly this one. But I probably will wind up buying that one. This one's mostly water. You know, I can put them like over here. I already have a road over here. It's pretty inaccessible though, especially considering I'm going to need to send garbage trucks there. Uh, oh. Crime rate is high. Accessibility purposes, it would be nice to put them next to a highway. They're pretty near a highway now. I don't know, it seems pretty unlikely that I ever do anything with this tile. So... Maybe I could put them down here. Would they pollute my water supply if I put them down there? They might. dead person waiting for transport. Oh, do I have my cemetery full? No, it is looking a little bit overwhelmed though. Um, let's go ahead and build another one. Uh, I need, oh, I'm almost, I'm almost going to unlock the crematorium. Okay. Um, Never mind then. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, another thousand people, huh? Let's zone some residential. Zone some residential over here. The fires. It's a good thing I built that other fire station. Abandoned because no one collected dead people.
still losing people. I need to go the other way. approaching a crisis point with all of these people dying um, alright we're gonna have to build some we're gonna have to build like maybe even two more cemeteries otherwise this is gonna get out of control um, and we'll just have to build crematoriums as soon as we can so for now Um, now I'll put one there, and hmm. a two-way road, that to a two-way road, and I'm gonna, oh, that's a two-way road with bicycle lanes, sorry, I need bike lanes, um, build it straight out there, and then build me a cemetery out here. coming up and that's coming up multiple problems oh you don't have power or water uh, well water should be easy to fix I'm gonna come out here for now um, Power might be a little bit more difficult. How can we get you power? That might be the easiest way, actually. That work. Uh, why are you abandoned? No one collected dead people. Well, we're working on it. Okay, residential man's coming back up. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave this here. So, in the next episode, we should be able to get high enough to build crematoriums. And then we can start emptying the, and getting rid of these cemeteries that we just built. Um, 
At least they're cheap. 8,000. Relatively cheap. I feel like we wasted too much money. Still working on solving our incinerator problem as well. Um, thinking I'm going to try and tuck them... Maybe over here in this corner. Yeah, maybe I'll try and tuck them over here in this corner. Build the highway out here so that they have good highway access. So hopefully they'll be able to operate even though they're way away from everything. And we'll build them out there. Um, All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time, and until then, have a terrific day.